Hey guys, how's it going? Hit care from HR Utilities and today I'm going to be showing you how to install a UEFI copy of Windows 7 onto your PC or laptop. Now, this means you have to have a UEFI compatible BIOS, obviously, and a ISO file uh, containing Windows 7, whatever version you want, except Starter, don't bother with that. Um, and you're going to need a tool called Rufus and 7-Zip Portable, links will be in the description. So firstly, you're going to want to open up Rufus uh, this version is 1.4.9 that's the one that's current when I recorded it so you want to make sure you select the right device you're going to want to make sure it's a GPT partition leave everything else as it is um, bearing in mind that this your USB will be wiped um, you're going to want to click that button and locate the ISO file and I've just renamed it for convenience sakes so making sure you have everything on the USB backed up, hit start and hit OK. Now this is going to take a long time depending on your USB. Uh, I used a USB 2 device which was uh, in fairness rubbish. Uh, it took about 18 minutes for everything to copy over. Um, I later did it with a USB 3 device and uh, that took 5 minutes. So uh, yeah, USB 3 for the win guys. Uh, so after you finish that, just close out of it, go back into Windows Explorer, uh, ignore this, I did something wrong, but you're going to want to go into USB, EFI, Microsoft, copy this boot folder, back, back, and paste it into EFI. So make sure it's in the root of EFI. Now, you're going to want to go to 7-zip portable, open that up, and you're going to want to go to the ISO file which we mounted earlier, or your USB depending on whatever, sources, and you're going to want to locate install.wim uh, I had some trouble locating it even though it's in alphabetical order uh, you just want to go and double click on that wait for this to complete, go to 1 Windows boot EFI and extract this boot mgfw.efi file and make sure you extract this to uh, that to the USB e EFI boot and paste uh, extract it into there sorry and hit OK. So now that that's done, you're going to want to go back to that folder. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing here. Yeah, there we go. Um, and you're going to want to rename this to boot x86. No, 64. I lied. <laughs> 64. Boot x64. And now that you've done that, the installer is ready, so go ahead, shut down your machine. Make sure you backed up everything, create the partition, and you're going to want to open up the EFI uh, version of the USB. I just speed this up. Uh, everything here, you just need to click through it. Hit I accept. Next. Uh, this is Ultimate Service Pack 1, uh, custom, and you're going to want to select the partition, uh, install it to this one. Uh, this one's a uh, Windows 7. You'll get this uh, message, just hit OK. Uh, it's just telling you that it's a GPT disk and you don't know what you're doing, but you do, so uh, hit OK. So I, I've sped this bit up and I'll be back once it's done. Okay, so now you're going to want to put it into the partition, and in my case that's Windows 7. Uh, just wait for this to start up, and I'll be back once again. Okay, so uh, here you're just going to want to enter all of your user information. So I've called it Raptor, and I've entered everything that needed to be entered, and now it's just going to 
set everything up, it's preparing your desktop, and there you have it guys. Um, Windows 7, a UEFI version of it is installed, and after that you're done. So, thanks for watching guys, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and I'll catch you later. Peace.